and yeah. you've, you've never seen that before. I've never seen an engine where this broke like this and busted up and it didn't hurt anything else. You think Honda would warranty that part? There's still a warranty on this one? <laughs> <laughs> you could give it a try. <laughs> Hey, um, this is Sean from SRK Cycles. I got a Honda that I want to know. Can you guys run the VIN to see if it's still under warranty? Sure. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, it's still under warranty. Yeah, Go ahead with it, Sean. Okay, uh, C as in cat, uh, B as in boy, 77104. Eight three one eight. That's not long enough. Hmm. Yeah, that's the VIN. What what model is it? Uh, CB seventy seven. The CB seventy seven. Yeah. Uh, it's a 1967. Oh, well, no, there's. <laughs> you say it's still under warranty? <laughs> so, I think. I don't know this yet, but I think what happened was that we. What happened was. This, this gas tank has been lined. There's still some stuff in there. Stuff got it from the gas tank, went through the petcock and the lines, clogged up the carburetor. The bike started running um, uh, rough, wasn't getting enough fuel, was still getting sparks, so it was running lean, and I pushed it. I thought, I thought, well, I'll just keep on, it'll, it'll clear itself out, it'll be fine. I may have ran it too long, and I may have, uh, at the best case scenario, I burn a valve. Um, worst case scenario, I don't know burn a piston I don't know uh, it could be pretty bad but it's all just metal and it's all just metal metal and gaskets and stuff so nothing we can't fix um, we'll get this thing back on the road running better than it ever did all right so we are we're going to Joe's mm -hmm. Joe gave me a call yesterday and he was really I mean you know, how long has Joe been working on bikes um, long long time 50 years or something like that 100 he, years it says old import bikes just all over the place like i just please import bikes um <laughs> never seen he, never seen what happened to our bike before he's in his never life? seen what happened before what happened to our bike ever in his oh life oh my gosh how many bikes do you think he's fixed like thirty thousand bikes in his lifetime hundreds of thousands of bikes oh he's gosh. never seen this so he kind of explained it to me i didn't really I don't know the inner workings of motors as well as he does. I'm excited to see it first. But it must be pretty complex because you do understand a decent amount. I, got a little, I, got some I mean, if you told it to me, he'd be like, "It's pa after he gets past like battery." I'm like, I don't have doubt. I, I, I think well, once he shows it to me, oh, oh, that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, I that's think, not supposed to be broken. I think in the place when we figure out what actually happened. But first. We got to deliver a tank strap order from uh, tankstrap.com. Tankstrap.com. Well, we're getting about one of these, one to a couple of these a day. All right, we're at Joe's shop. Pepper and Cycles, he works on all of our stuff. Oh, what? That's so funky. Look at that. What is that? Door walls. Door walls? Door walls. Awesome. There he is. Yes, sir. Oh, dang. Oh, 
Don't tell me you're gonna put me on no video. <laughs> this is the engine. We took it all apart. We got 15,000 miles on this machine. And is what happened, why this thing didn't have any compression, is this cam guide roller in the middle, middle of the motor broke in half. Is that plastic? Yes, it's rubber. And it's shot. Now, the whole motor is in excellent shape. I'm working on taking the pistons out. I had that piston up in the cylinder. Compression's fine. Cam looks good. The valves look good. Um, when this broke, I've never seen this before. I've seen this already, but when it broke, the cam chain could move because this in the rear, it would move the cam timing. And when it did, it just held one of the valves open or both valves open so it wouldn't hold compression. But it didn't hit the head, it didn't hit anything. There's That's no, amazing. it's absolutely amazing. Um, I might pull the clutch cover off just to clean it out and make right. sure it's going to be more labor than parts, but parts are still going to be a couple hundred bucks. Well, there's no, nothing I did to cause that to happen. No, no, it's nothing from sitting, nothing, you know. I'm, I, so some of these parts are a dime a dozen. You, there are tons of parts, but the stuff that you really need is really hard. I found one guy that has this, and that's why I want to get this pump out. That, that's check the oil it, pump it never goes so, bad. So right? I can go ahead and, oh, these are bulletproof motors. This is a roller crank. This is our ball bearing crank. It's got ball bearings in the middle on either side of each rod. I mean, these are a strong motor. This thing is in excellent shape. You know, the rings look good. You know. Did this guy do it? The guy that was restoring it? No. Did he do anything with the motor? I don't think, the way this looks, I don't think this motor was ever a part. It might have been, but they're Honda pistons. Because the ART, they're Honda. You can't get them. Now, of course, it says CB77 on there. I don't know. But usually ART is a factory as far as I know. Like I said, I never worked on many of these because they never broke down. But the rods look good. The wrist pins look good. Well, this is a good motor. Like I said, there's nothing wrong. Like I said, I want to take this off and make sure we get all the rest of this out of here but when i was right when i was riding this it looked like i felt like that i had no gas i just kind of burr. i'm still kind of sputting and spittering on i'm still moving but uh i'm not moving as fast as i once was that's when this thing broke when this broke the cam chain because this is a manual cam chain tensioner this chain goes around this roller down here and comes up around here and goes up to the cam. So most of the new bikes have manual tensioners or can or automatic. This is an automatic or cam or manual tensioner. So you have to adjust it. So this thing was probably adjusted fine until this broke. When this broke, now this thing flipped around and the chain has all kinds of slack. Well, this wouldn't take it up. Somebody might, you know, might have tried. You could have tried, but it would have never worked. The roller wouldn't spin. So, um, but they all wear down like that. But being we had this, the chain was slapping against this. Right. So I want to replace that. So and then it, then it would then it would move the cam so that when it's going around, it would hold the valve even if it only held it open. 10 thousandths of an inch. But these old motors, the valves are so far up in the combustion chambers, you know, and they don't run them tight. I mean, the cylinders look good. I mean, it's like normal wear. I think I think this might be all original. Wow. And yeah. you've, you've never seen that before. I've never seen an engine where this broke like this and busted up and it didn't hurt anything else. You think Honda would warranty that part? There's still a warranty on this one? <laughs> <laughs> you could give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, don't take that back to Honda. At Honda you sold me. 
<laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yep. Anything I should be doing at that that thing while you have your don't bike apart? There's a lot of stuff you could do if you want. Um, it's going to probably be three weeks or so. Uh, it's going to take a week to get parts. i got to clean all this up. Should we come pick this up? So we did some awesome weight reduction modifications to this bike. We slashed a lot of weight. This is what we did to it. Alright, Still seems a little heavy. We need to keep on chin some more weight. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm here with this shell of a bike. Uh, the last time we had a bike that had catastrophic engine failure on us, it cost us, it was gonna cost us 5,000 bucks to fix. Now, I don't know if this is gonna cost that much, Clearly the bike is not worth that much. Um, I mean, it's not a, I love it. I love the bike, so it's not a parts bike. I'm just a little concerned about what it's actually gonna cost to fix and what we're gonna do with this bike. It really, it really kind of, this is what uh, our buddy Keith felt when he bought that Harley Davidson from us. Oh man, the Keith Saga. Coming up next. For you, baby. We are coming for you. The Americans are coming. The Americans are coming. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd be meeting in this situation. What's up, guys? You're gonna love the new content we got coming out next week. It's gonna be sick. If you like what you just watched, you're gonna love what's coming up down the pipeline. Guys, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, every time you click that subscribe button and the notification button, a motorcycle gets its wings. No, an angel gets a motorcycle. That's right. All right, guys, subscribe and uh, check out the next video. See you guys later.